Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back. We have fantastic weather up here in Germany too. For my liking it's still a little too hot but that doesn't matter. The evenings are fantastic. But we're not here to discuss the weather in Germany. I did some classical videos a couple of weeks ago and you keep asking me if I could also get a little more into classic. Of course I can. It's a genre I love very much and I listen to it also quite often, sometimes together with my father if it's possible. And so I thought, how do we do this? And I thought, okay, um, I'm going through my collection and what I pick up to, to listen to, I'm, I'm sharing this with you. And um, yeah, for today's listening session, especially with the weather and the warm weather, I picked up España. Here it is in all of its glory. And it's been conducted by Artolfo Agenta, and I hope I spelled him correct. It's a recording I love very much, especially during this time of the year. It's, it's a brilliant thing. So this is the 1994 Speaker's Corner version, which uh, thankfully uh, I could borrow from my father's collection. Um, actually, it's now my collection, but um, this is the reissue of it. I always wanted to have a UK first pressing but I was stunned this is sometimes between 500 to 700 euro record, also depending on the condition, of course. The only Spanish thing about this record is the conductor, and also uh, only one track is actually written from a Spanish composer, and this was Danza Española number no. 5. Artofu had I wish they would do a biopic about him because his life story is tremendously fascinating. He only got 44 years old and the circumstances around his death was like, I couldn't believe it really, but it's the way it happened. Um, he only got 44 years old and he died in January, um, January the 20th in 1958 in a car accident. So the story behind this car accident is that um, he was having a student overnight and he was uh, lighting up the fire uh, in, in his house and it took some time before it got warm. So he and the student decide, well, let's get into the car um, and, and wait till the heating is up in the house and let's the heating in the car is faster. So let's do that but they had everything closed so they were sitting in the car and you can imagine what happened his student survived luckily but um, Alfonso was not so happy so he very dramatically passed away at a very young age he's considered as one of the greatest conductors also especially up here in in Europe and to my liking he was a very balanced conductor and Pairing up with the London Philharmonic Orchestra, and my respect grows and grows and grows more over the years about that tremendously great orchestra, because they could adapt to different styles very easily, and they play them tremendously well. España is, for me, a journey through Spain, through the regions. You have the different styles in the music when it comes up to the, to the regions, and it's just a, a fantastic, fantastic record. So let's try to have a listen to some snippets of this recording. I do hope uh, YouTube is allowing me this to give you a little impression of this record. <laughs> So I think for this kind of weather and mood you're in, España is the perfect record to listen to. It's for me personally a voyage through Spain where you go through the different regions and you, you have a soundtrack to your journey through Spain. This is just absolutely uh, fascinating. 
and also how easily the London Philharmonic Orchestra could adapt to the different styles and genre they played through the years. That's tremendously fascinating. Alfonso was uh, was being planned to do a uh, you know, tour through the United States shortly before he died. He was in high demand in, in Europe to do conducting. He conducted the, the Paris Orchestra. He, he did so much in a short period of time he lived and he left such a big impression on people. You have to remember he was 44 when he died and this is just such a shame that he had to pass away this early but the legacy he left behind is unbelievable. There's a CD box set out there with his work. He did 50 recordings of uh, Sara Suela. I hope I spelled that correct on the Alhambra recording label. So these are also available. In 1955, he did the conduction of the soundtrack for the movie La Canción del Malibran. I hope I spelled that correct as well. I'm sorry, which also is an absolutely uh, great listen. Sound-wise not so much, well you have to keep in mind it's 1951, but it's also a very well done recording. So this is my classic pick for today. Um, there will be some more videos coming up. With, I'm sharing with you guys uh, loosely what, what I'm listening to and I do hope you enjoy this when we get a little into classic. Okay, so thanks for watching. i see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, listen to good music, maybe España, and uh, yeah, have a great week. Bye.